Hello techies! We're doing another review. This time it is Avani? Avira. Avira, same thing. Avani? I don't hey, I was somewhat close. You didn't really tell me the name. What's the year? 2015-ish? It's 2016. Why would it be testing last year's I model? I don't know, because sometimes they don't update them right away. Shut up. It's like, Just shut it's up. March. Shut, I don't care. Shut up. All right, anyway, so we're reviewing uh, Vera Free Antivirus 2016 today. Now, we got a uh, user here, and I know yeah. Vera is a very popular security product amongst uh, the techies out there. So, But I've never heard of it. And he's never heard of it. So we're going to let him uh, give his opinion on it today. So... You want to go ahead and do the honors and start the All installation right. here? So I already got the file installed here. He's going to just do that. So far it looks pretty simple. Preparing installation. Move the mic just a little bit. Oh, oh, it does the, oh. It does the fancy swiveling. Ooh, yeah. ooh, the fancy mic. Yeah. Moving up in the world. Not really. Actually, I just got this mic off Amazon. I think it was like 30 bucks or something. Oh. Yeah, it was actually a pretty good deal. That's and it sounds bad. really good, too. So, oh, there we go. <laughs> You're about to say, what's going on here? Yeah, I was about to yeah. say, so far I'm not impressed. It's <laughs> taking forever. All righty. All right, so let's read what we got here. Meanwhile, okay, so it looks System like... It... Oh, is this like CM Cleaner? Oh, C Cleaner? CM? Mine says CM on my phone. Oh, your phone. Yeah, Clean yeah. Master you're using. No, yeah. I, I think you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that. Okay. A vast system speed up. It's designed to obviously improve the performance. So it's going to clean out temp files, yada, yada, yada. They got a lot of those. So um, what do we got? So up top, it looks like it's installing a Vera while we're doing this. Okay, cool. Yeah. So it's kind of just giving you some more stuff. Yeah, okay. um, yeah we don't need to test that. So we'll just, we'll, we'll, I guess, do that. I don't mean to be intervening here, guys, a little bit. Safe but... Search Plus. So what is this like? That is oh, essentially... Oh, it's so like a parental controls, kind of? Not really. It says secure alternatives for web searches, so if your child wants to discover the magical world of, you know, that... Oh, my God. No, that's not block. even close to what it is. I mean, I oh, think you can block individual sites with it, if I remember correctly. Some of them offer that feature. However, this is more designed to protect yourself from phishing websites and other security threats uh, that may want to compromise your PC or identity. Oh. It really doesn't... Do pertain the to the oh, uh, okay. now now the other thing can um essentially have malware incorporated so if it does meet that criteria then avira will block it but otherwise no okay so right. well no we were gonna install what? that you did say it too oh lord you never said to install don't that. worry techies i'll you, add it later you never said mm. to install that when did you say that i didn't say not to install it whatever <laughs> one essential dashboard Protect all your devices, track and cover missing devices, safeguard your identity. So this is essentially going to give you a like one-stop shop for okay. managing all your devices. And okay. um, kind of like, uh, so like Sophos does. I don't know if you've ever seen that who? one. Sophos? I don't know what that is. Um, that's what our school used to use for security. Oh, yeah, because I know that. Yeah, exactly. Um, anyways, so essentially it's like a web interface that you can log on, a web management console. You can okay. log on anywhere with any device, and you can see the status of all your device's security. So, like, can you do, like, that home group thing where, like, if one of them is out of date, you can update it? Basically. It's just more okay. advanced than that. Um, you can also disable security, enable security, run scans, and, like you said, update. So that's essentially what it does. It's kind of nice for people who are novice users, like, you know, if your parents wanted help or you, you wanted to make yeah. sure their systems were secure. Yeah. Um, and they said, hey, you know, can oh. you run a scan on my system here quick? You could say, oh, sure. You know, you can go right on your phone or you can go right on your computer and you can start that So you that can do scan. this through your phone? Yeah. Really? I believe there's a mobile app in which you can do that. I'm not sure. Okay. But I believe through the mobile security app, you can access this, this. dashboard right here. If the computer is on. If the computer is on, that is correct. Okay. Yeah. So um, we're going to go ahead and skip that for now. We won't deal with that. It's still installing. It oh. is still installing. Oh, we can put it on Facebook so people know. Yes. Or on Twitter because I use it. Oh. Well, there you go. Well, right. Look at that. Wasn't that perfect timing? Awesome. All right. So I guess what would you click? Start. I, I think that's a grandiose place to start. All right. So this is the interface right here. Now, user has not seen any previous interfaces of Avira. Um, just a little let you know, 
the interface has not changed much over the years, which is kind of nice. I mean, because people generally like interfaces when they stay more, you know, more in the way of this familiar, thing. familiar to what they are looking for. Um, so yeah, we can go ahead and click some of the modules here. I think it's still doing some stuff here. I think so. All right, so this is the system scanner here. Uh, a lot of oh, kind of kind of cluttered, wouldn't you say, for that? What? Um, they could really kind of improve on this. Now, Avir has been geared more towards the advanced slash, you know, techie, I guess you yeah. could call it. I mean, they're not really geared um, towards towards the complete novice, but yet the novice can use it. So they really have a happy middle, if I was to say it, to sum it up. It's really kind of right in the middle. They have a lot of features, and you'll see that here in just a minute. Well, I... That is a log file. I clicked on this. Yeah, that, that's just a log file. So essentially, if we go to let's oh. go Android security, yeah, that is, is that's going to um, actually I don't even know what it's going to do. It might open up an internet browser. Typically, that's what they do. Huh. Uh, so then you can in turn download the app on your phone. Yeah. Or it'll just you know lock up the entire system. <laughs> yeah, it must be doing uh, quite a bit of installing still because the uh, computer is uh, the hard drive is going crazy here. It is. Uh, there's the corner. Oh, we got something that just popped Ooh. up down there. Oh, okay. So essentially, it's going to do a system scan. You can go ahead and just stop that. We don't need to do a system scan because I know the system's clean. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead, and I know you've been clicking around here, but I'm going to start at the top here, and we're going to go off and start clicking on real-time protection. Click the little uh, gear. No, don't turn it off. Oh, crap. Just click no. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to go into the settings here and just kind of go through this a little bit. Now, here's what I'm talking about, the granular settings. This program, you can get really kind of in-depth in the settings. So we'll start off by going to System Scanner, expand that one up there. Uh, you can see we have a bunch of additional settings to the point where you can scan for root kits, optimize scans, you know, the same old, same old over there. Yeah. Um, and then you can also adjust the priority of the scanner, which includes, you know, how much is of the system resources is it going to use? Is it going to be high in a sense of slowing you down more, or do you want it to take longer, but then use less resources? Yeah. You can adjust that, which most products allow you to do nowadays. Click on the real-time protection, if you could, please. Um, we kind of already saw that. No, yep. Not in the way there. If we click on scan, open it up, and then I think click on it. There you go. Perfect. Uh, we can adjust what happens when certain things are uh, detected. I guess not. Apparently, just use oh. event log. Okay. Sorry. No, that's okay. You were fine. It was just there was not any settings oh. there um, to the point where I thought they were going to be. Uh, exceptions, obviously, are exceptions. Click on heuristics for me quick. And now this is where Avira has really kind of always excelled. Um, essentially, Avira has a very advanced HIPS engine. Okay. So they really, really should perform well. And I can't remember exactly. It's been a long time since I did the last test, but I think they did pretty good on their, their behavioral analysis portion of the test. So uh, update, we're not going to go into that. Yeah. Go into internet protection here. Uh, Avira does not offer a firewall with their free antivirus. It strictly is an anti-malware application. It's this, so it does offer a firewall. No, it does not use as Windows firewall. Oh. Yep. So essentially, um, it's going to utilize the Windows yeah, firewall. Yeah, it says Windows right there. Yep, yep, okay. yep. So it's not going to have their own firewall module. It's just using Windows. So if you essentially go to um, click on advanced settings there, and then click on advanced settings, it'll take a little while, um, but it's going to open up. You'll see the rules um, interface for yeah. Windows firewall here. And then you can obviously, so there you go, Windows firewall with advanced security. So you can adjust all your inbound rules, outbound rules, stuff like that. Yeah through Windows Firewall. So that's all that is. Anyways, you can go ahead and close that out now. And uh, click on General. We're just going to kind of quickly go through the General tab. Uh, you can adjust, obviously, the different threat categories. Security. Um, security right there. You can do advanced protection, whether you use cloud-based security or not, passwords. Uh, this is where you can actually pass to protect certain areas of the system. So if you don't want your kids getting into control panel and doing you know, monkey around with stuff, you can protect that. Oh, that's um, cool. You got WMI, which is Windows Management uh, Instra... Uh, instrumentation right there so essentially you know that's for a more advanced web management yeah. if you want to manage it through a web interface uh, it's like an enterprise solution you know let's say you're a major IT guy not a techie just a IT just you know yep. full-blown yep. uh, that's essentially what you could use for business solutions or managing many systems uh, for one if I'm right guys okay don't don't quote me on that because I'm sure someone will come in the comments and say oh my god you mutilated that but not too up on that so we're gonna keep moving on here uh, reports, you know, that same old, same old uh, directories, and then we have um, warnings and acoustic alerts. Not much in the way there. So, 
All right, we can go ahead and close this up. We're gonna leave everything in default here. We're not gonna change much. So you can just cancel out of that. Um, go ahead and click yes. We don't wanna do any changes. Okay, so I'm that, gonna say it right now. I kind of like this program. I do too. Because I, uh, what you told me about how you can password protect something so your mm -hmm. kids or whatever can't get into stuff is awesome. You're thinking of your parents? Or your parents. Yes. Yeah. Yep. But it's way too cluttered. It is there designed. Is so much stuff. It's and, designed for more of the advanced user. Yeah, you know? like it's not. It doesn't seem like it's someone who's like, "Hey, I'm gonna go buy this." And it's not your AVG. Be, yeah, it's not your Avast. You know, it's it's. But I kind of like that because yeah. it doesn't get in your face, and it also offers advanced settings. Yeah. So that's the main interface. Obviously, you can see it uses more of the Explorer type of interface and style. You know, you have Windows yep. where they offer the you know the menus on top, and it's it really offers that kind of feel. And they've stuck with that for over the years. So essentially, go ahead and click down on the little Avira umbrella down there. Now, this I believe is new at the 2016 version. Um, there you go. So this is your uh, device manager in a okay. sense. Now, if we go ahead and click on browser safety, we should be able to install that. So click install. All right, so go ahead and click install again. Restart the browser, finish the installation. So it should be installing right now. Okay. Um, so we'll go ahead and let that do its thing. So just click OK. There we go. Um, and we'll give it a couple seconds here. Click on Manage Devices once, and we'll see if that opens up the interface, the web interface. That should open up an internet browser. Yes, it does. And um, this should give you kind of an example of the web interface. Okay, Ooh. so um, we can go ahead and do you want to start the tour? Might as well. All right, so we're going to kind of see what's going on here. So essentially, here's where you can manage your computers like we were talking. Yep. Um, you can manage tablets, things like that. So we'll go next. Um, and up here, obviously, you can manage other devices that it's saying. So you can have individual names, user accounts tied to this account. Um, so you can manage their devices. And um, then you can obviously discover and manage your Vera services yeah. <laughs> right here. So obviously you can install different like browser safety, like yeah. you forgot to install it. Yeah. I could actually access your device and install it for you oh. using this or remove it, you yeah. know, vice versa. So that is essentially the interface right there. And there you can see there's our device. Now, obviously I don't have an account with them right now, but yeah. you can then go up here, add a computer, do that other kind of stuff. And this is the web interface. This is your web management console. And you can obviously see um, we have different. Uh, so let's, let's go ahead and click on Internet Explorer here and see if that installed. No, I don't know if it did or not. All right, everyone. So apparently we're, we cannot get uh, browser safety to install on this system for some weird reason. Um, what if we restart the computer? That might do it. Um, if you want, we can go ahead and try that. Might as well. Um, well, first, before we do that, uh, we're going to go ahead and I want to quick go through some of the changes uh, with Avira here. What is What has changed? And then we'll restart the computer and um, see if anything comes up with browser safety. So, But first of all, what's new with it? Uh, essentially, it's now fully compatible with Windows 10. Uh, so some people were experiencing issues with the previous version. Those have been fixed since, and you should not have any more issues except for the fact that we can't install the browser safety plugin. Anyways, um, it's got better self-defense capabilities. They've improved on that. Uh, they've improved significantly on the potential unwanted programs module, so they now have more proactive protection against that. Uh, they've revamped the um, system speed uh, for the toolkits, things like that, made it lighter, faster. Uh, an online dashboard, as you saw earlier, you know, we had that web management console, so they've added that. Uh, and then they've also done um, some other fixes as well. Now, there's some new features of the mobile app, but we're not going to go into that because this is just strictly the antivirus review. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to restart the system, see if we can't get that uh, application to install on the um, on the browser. Yeah, So, and by the way, somebody is watching me. I was not drunk. Uh, that was it. He, he had to make his case. He, <laughs> he just couldn't help himself. He just had to make his case there. I did. Are, are you drunk right now? No. Did you have to think about that for a second? A little bit. Okay, there we go. That's that's there's the problem right there, right? Yep. yep. <laughs> All right. So while this is rebooting, we're gonna go ahead, pause the video, and we'll be back once the system is back up and running. So see you in a bit, guys. All right, everyone. So we're back. Uh, system has rebooted, and if we open up the good old trusty Internet Explorer, we see nothing. Nothing. Uh, we even go to manage add-ons here. We even go to manage add-ons here. 
There we go. You can see nothing in there. Nothing. Um, currently loaded, all add-ons. However, nothing. could this be because it's a trial version? It's free. There's no trial version. Yeah, there is. There's an up. There's an up upgrade thingy. Like we want you to pay. Oh, you're saying that no, no. Vero Browser Safety. What it's trying to install, in a sense, it's a free plugin, uh, along with okay, a okay. Vera free antivirus. Ah, so, okay. anyways, um, just pulled this up so you can see what version we're testing, guys. You can see product version 15.0.16.282. So this is the uh, latest version here, at least right from their website. So, all right, um, let's quick take a look at what it's using. Uh, it's got kind of a bit of processes, you can see. Um, Looks like we got uh, three, four, five processes that I'm seeing right off the bat. Um, not seeing anything else. I'm sure I'm missing one, you know, as usual. There's always a techie who points out, oh, you missed one right there, which is fine. Um, definitely, definitely like that when you point that out. And I think actually this is probably one too. Yeah, this is actually one because it spawned off of that. So, so yeah, um, quite a few processes. And um, granted, they're not using too much in the way of resources, uh, except for this one right here, which is you know using a little bit more RAM than I'd like to see it use. But today's computers have enough RAM, so you know not too horrible. It's more of the CPU cycles that are going to really slow you down. And I just want to add too that I did notice it seemed the boot times did decrease a little bit. So this may have impacted your system, yeah, no, unfortunately. I didn't really notice. Um, so, anyways, I should have kept that open because we Way need that. We need that anyways. Let's go ahead and. Um, Go to the old folks home. No, no, we're not going to go to the old folks home. So that's going to go ahead and conclude our uh, installation and configuration portion. Not much of configuring. We're just going to do default, but yeah. that's pretty much it for that one. So we're going to go ahead, start a new video, and do the prevention test.